This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're taking another trip down memory lane here. We're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Retro Line AWD, AWE Striker. This is the second vehicle released recently in the Hasbro Retro line and it just looks amazing. Box art looks just like the original toy. It looks truly beautiful and again got the window here with crankcase included. Looks awesome. Do 360 here. Get another picture of the striker. Simple G.I. Joe logo with the vehicle name. And let's take a look at the back. Not just outstanding. Highlights the removable trunk, or removable engine cover, I should say. It definitely, definitely has that nostalgic feel to it. Could not be more excited about this line, to be honest. I mean... Nostalgia is the reason I do collect these so This is right up my alley definitely, but let's take a look at the file card, which is always awesome That we can pause it and read it if you like AWE striker driver From Lawrence, Kansas Former race car driver Who's at his best when the speedometer is redlined so perfect vehicle for him just looks amazing man this brings back so many memories well that being said please like and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell get your bell on definitely so you get notified for future videos let's see what this package has in store for us stay tuned and as with the hiss and just like it did in the 80s it does come with the blueprints with assembly instructions on one side and nice schematic with decal instructions on the back and there's just this brings back so many memories of me making my dad put all the stickers on these toys. I'm sure he would know exactly what this is if I showed him what it was. If I showed it to him. Man. Nicely done. What? So let's take a look at Crankcase. In my opinion, he's done really, really well. Nicely articulated, nicely decored. Comes on the stand that we've grown used to. Holds really, really nice. One thing I did notice is they've, they've changed the peg hole size. So, bring in a drill released in the 80s. And it just slides on and off. It, it doesn't hold at all. So that's a little disappointing. It, the same actually goes for the vehicle itself. But, Regardless, let's get back to crankcase. Um, nicely done, in my opinion. A lot of paint apps on this guy. Um, starting on the head, orange is painted. Some nice detail on the eyes there. Eyebrows, beard, everything looks really, really good. Helmet fits perfectly. Nicely done. The straps actually do help keep it on too. He's got his bandolier, I guess you would call it. Got a nice soft rubber. Really flexible. Really movable. So you can move around if you want to keep it to the sides. Bring it down, push it down lower on the body if you can. 
all the green is painted. You can tell if you look at the back of the collar, got a little sloppy there. But it does really look good. Got some great molded detail. Pockets on the shirt, buttons. Going down. Nicely painted belt buckle and belt. With some pack some pockets built in. Ammo, maybe, I don't know. It's hard to say. Being so small. Coming down the legs. Nice detail on the jeans. One thing to note, looks like the mold isn't exact on the legs, so you got some, some gaps here. But from a distance it's hard to see. Got what looks like either an empty sheath or clip for his gun, which is molded into his vest. Not sure what you would call that, but yeah, tell me what you what it's called in the comments. But you can take it off if you want, which is a really nice nice detail. Gives us the ability to see workings of the abs, so he does have an ab crunch. Got nicely painted boots, nicely sculpted pants and kneecap, as far as other articulation. It is on a ball, so you get a little bit up, a little bit down, not much. A little bit of attitude. Arms are in disc hinge, a little bit more than 90. All the way around. Swivel right at the elbow. Nicely done. He actually gets a, I think, I don't know about the same as the Cobra Trooper, so just just to share a shy of 90. And hands can swivel. Nicely painted gloves too. So you do have, again, the waist, which you can put a little back and forth. Pivot. Looks really good. Legs can go up to there. really tight but out to there to the side and once again the butt really prevents any back movement but it does have a double jointed knee so you're able to get quite a bit and toe tilt back and up a little bit which to be honest that actually comes in handy when getting him getting him into the striker it really helps and you can spin the feet. So, overall, really well done. No complaints. He looks really, really good in my opinion. Let's get him geared back up. And the accessories, they hold really well. So, I mean, it's a little loose, but it's not going to go flying. And it's just a simple rubber hole for the prong. Done really well. Just for a height comparison, we will bring that original Joe back in. They are pretty much spot on. Great job by Hasbro on these figures. Job. And the crankcase does fit in the vehicle perfectly, as you would expect. You can even grab on the steering wheel and the gear shifter. 
done perfectly. Looks great. And here is the striker itself. Man, this just brings back memories. I think I had two or three of these as a kid, and they were always going on a long journey trying to find Cobra. Perfect scout vehicle, I think. But let's do a 360 here. All the decals again had to be installed. So to have fun with that, it really is an enjoyable experience. But there is quite a few with these guys. And they all do look great. Coming down the side. Watch your head. Got the American flag there. Coming across the back. Got the nice tail lights. Now this sticker right here didn't actually show in the instructions where to put it, so I, do, I put it there just out of convenience. I think it looks pretty good. One nice feature is this will actually come off, give you a full view of the engine. Nicely done, nicely detailed. Looks really good. Snap it back in. Holds like a champ. Looking at some of the detail, you got the nice diamond plate steel grating for the uh, running boards. Now it does need to be assembled also out of the box. So the roll bar has to be put on, the wheels have to be put on, and then the gun and this tube. Um, the tube doesn't actually show you where to put it, but it's somewhat obvious. There's there's a post there and a post right here, so you'll figure it out. Hardest part is actually getting it on. But some more detail here. Nice detail inside with the seats. You've got your shifter, steering wheel, which does turn. Dashboard is a little plain. I'm wondering if, yeah, there might be some repo labels put out for this guy, but we'll see. And I mean, it just, everything comes together so nicely. I love everything about it. The, the turning gun, I'll raise up here. Got your gun that'll do full 360. Nice pliable antennas that were there when you were a kid. Gun control does move back and forth. Wheels do share the suspension, so you turn one, the other moves. Works really good. Nice clear plastic for the headlights. I don't know. I think maybe there should have been some KC lights up there on the top. What do you guys think? But I think it looks really good. Come across the bottom. Made in China. Got a view of the uh, leaf springs. and It does. As it did when we were younger, I have a working suspension. Works amazing. So overall, this just ticks all those nostalgia check boxes. It's a beautiful, beautiful toy. Exactly as I remember it from the child, my childhood. I 
could not be happier with this thing. My hope is that they also release a black one like they did before. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Alright guys, final thoughts on this thing. I have to say, it just blows me out of the water. The, uh, the fact that they just released this, I mean, it makes me feel like I'm back in 1980s. I, uh, I felt bad. I felt like I had to call my mom and ask for permission to buy it. That's how much of a kid it makes me feel like. It uh, truly is an amazing piece. And it's exactly as I remember it. So I do highly recommend it. If you can find one, pick it up. And uh, enjoy. That's all I can say. It's amazing. Well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing soon on my channel. Just a little heads up. I'll see you again next time.